You are now stepping to the left. Yo, everybody, welcome back to the TLP, the motherfucking hottest place to be. I'm your host, Kim Burrow, and I'm here with the fucking crew again, man. Two country, how you feeling, my nigga? Probably the way you looking. Rona. Rona. Nigga, we want 100 over here. (laughs) Rona. (laughs) (laughs) The local hero, man, how's you doing today, man? What up, man? It's the local hero, aka the new dirty bastard. I'm y'all, back to old. Y'all, 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 fuck the baby mother and, and, and stop your kid. Yo, so G, what you got to say about that? Hi. That's so All right. Name. Anyway, I, so. Fuck, dude, man. <laughs> y'all niggas is retarded. So, quick question before we get into the show, y'all. Would y'all prefer a titty job or a foot job? How big is a titty? Titty job. Titty job. Titty job. Yeah, because some of you hoes piss off, man. He bitches in here pedicure yeah. for like 88. <laughs> you got the big ass yellow shell on the back of your heel. I don't want that. <laughs> bitches been running track and Timberland. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, G, man? Titty fuck man. Man. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Like, I've had both. And the benefits of a titty job is that the mouth is right there, too. You know? Yep, right but the, the benefits of a foot job is that you get this level of perversion being able to see her while she's doing that and then she could also be sucking a titty or playing with the titties or rubbing her pussy like it's other shit she could be doing. So it's, it's benefits to both and it's just man Joseph. Why in the fuck is this even a conversation? Because <laughs> Ken asks. <laughs> Why do you guys want I just, I just want to, you know, just interested, you know, to let the people know a little bit about yourself, you know. Man, man, to do you know? With them questions. <laughs> Come on, man! You know, there's a lot of people out there that's in the feed. Some people that like titty jobs, so uh, you know, just want to see where y'all was at with it, you know. From <laughs> conversion level, at this age, I probably would choose a foot job for the pure perversion. He's at second. I'm not into feet like that, but I probably would choose that. Just off of the level of perversion that it could do to my brain. So yeah, so 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 what y'all saying is, uh, country and uh, hero, y'all don't want to come on no feet. No, no, you ain't got to. That's a way. You can pull them feet forward, come on the pussy. Pull the head forward, come on the lips, the mouth, the titties. Have you not ever had a foot job before? No, I can't say that I have. Oh, dude, it's levels to the shit. Me, it was a talk, but I was like. No, nah, I'm just gonna stick my dick in you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I had have one you point. ever put? Have you ever like rubbed your dick on somebody's ear before? Okay, uh, topic. Let's get into that. <laughs> so she's just your kid home, and she's on third. <laughs> you a nasty little motherfucker. That's what you is. Have you ever let somebody you know, jerk you off with their underarm? <laughs> and All right. Still. So, uh, yeah, today's topic is uh, first. We're gonna dive into the. Uh, death of FBG Duck, you know, we're going to kind of like spend some time talk about it and check the climate of the city. You know what? We're going to start with a Chicago native. We're going to go with the local hero. What's your thoughts on this? I ain't got uh, no time for no that. No that. Little bro said they about to go crazy over that. Little bro said they about to send it up. So um, first of all, I just want to send a fuck you to TMZ. Fuck y'all very much because the man got a mother. And they showed a video of this motherfucker dying. Like, he was still alive when they, on that video. They showed him die on that video. If Whoever took that video need to be fucking slapped in the motherfucking face. Like, they need a super violation. Is it the video that I uploaded? I uploaded a series of videos inside of Music Mondays. The dude that uploaded it is a black guy. Uh, he actually say his name on the video that I uploaded it. But it was like, he kept zooming in on him while he was laying there rolling around still fully alive. G need a motherfucking super violation. That ain't no shit you, first of all, that ain't no shit you show. Period. And the fact that that shit is on Facebook, but I can't say Graham Cracker lets you know where the fuck Facebook at with they shit. That shit crazy, man. But the man mom says she don't lost three sons. She got one left. Let me just say this. I'm guessing FBG Duck was young. That's why he stayed in the city. If you get, I, I remember, 
I said, how old was I? I had to be about 17, 18. My man, Tim G, told me. He said, man, you got to go somewhere, man. How the fuck you going to stay in You can't stay in the city your whole fucking life. You got to go travel and see shit. Once you leave, you can come back and appreciate your city. I was like, you know what? And every time I come back, I do appreciate it. But it's like, why would you want to stay in a situation where you know you got like that type of beef, that level beef? And then if they if they killed him on the mag mile, don't shit go down on the mag mile. They had to have some help. You can't shoplift out a motherfucking store without the mag mile. No, 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 no. Not go the mag mile. Go go, I'm sorry. They killed him on Oak Street, the highest level of shopping. You can't not the Magma. No, 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 no. Oak Street. Nothing happens on Oak Street. Is that Gold Coast, right? That's Gold Coast? Yeah, technically that's Gold Coast. You can't steal a motherfucking purse on the Gold Coast and make it out the fucking store. <laughs> the first person I seen get arrested on the news for looting was an Asian woman that got caught on camera looting one of the Gold Coast stores. They don't fuck around over there. So he had it was some help involved. It was some help involved. His homies did. I, mean, I want to put nothing out there, man, because I don't want. I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I want to speculate. Somebody he knew or that knew where he was going. I'm just gonna say that somebody who knew where he was going did that shit. That wasn't no random shit. Do you think? Do you think the uh, the the fact that he was Facebook, uh, Instagram Live at the time had anything to do with it? No, because look, them motherfuckers. Like if they yo, they already knew because them motherfuckers had to come from the south side. That's too much. I don't give a fuck. If you sitting out there in Chicago on on the Gold Coast from the South Side, I don't give a fuck if you Instagram live there for an hour and a half. You're not making it down there. <laughs> you're not gonna see the inst- oh shit, he's out here and just run the fuck over there like it's Ferris Bueller day off. Like you can just teleport <laughs> to this part of the city and just be there. That's not how that shit works. Like, you from Chicago, you know what I'm talking about. And mm-hmm. like, this ain't like a little ass town where you can just be like, oh, okay, they on Main Street and you there in like 10, 15 minutes. No. No. At that time of day, fuck no. They knew he was there. Somebody mm-hmm. knew he was there. Oh, and wasn't nobody just riding around. Ain't nobody just riding around on the Gold Coast looking for a motherfucker either. So you think it was an inside job? I'm, I don't want to nah, speculate. It's more like they followed him there, waited on him to come out the store, shot him up, and then dip. But somebody let him know. Somebody let them know that he was fucking out there though i don't think so i just think it's a situation where a motherfucker was already watching them motherfucker was already following them and they took this opportunity to let it ride but why would you let it ride on the gold coast you could have switched cheese them at the crib doesn't matter like i said they looked they found the opportunity and they took it they was they was out of the way of any retaliation they was in a place where there was no retaliation they found them at a at a vulnerable spot. Ain't nobody thinking about the fact that it's the Gold Coast. All they know is they found them at a vulnerable spot. That that shit wouldn't. I don't give a fuck. He could Instagram lie. No, they was on that ass. They knew he was there. That was no Instagram lie. That shit would have took way too long to get out there. Even when you see the Instagram live, it's not like you can see where he's at. You know what I'm saying? All you see is the back of his car seat. So I mean, like, what you feel about the whole situation, too, country? I think it was a sad, sad and tragic ordeal. I do, but the rappers. Them rappers keep moving recklessly. And that uh and that uh what you call that lie, that Facebook lie, that shit getting a lot of motherfuckers shot up and in trouble. Since that pop got hit. That shit gotta stop, man. You got your location on, motherfuckers see where you at. I understand you, you do a uh, live if your ass is like in another town, another state. But you in your own damn town in Chicago. And you know you got motherfuckers that's envious and they hate you. Plus you had beef with rappers over there too to begin with. And all this beef, man, like how you beefing so fucking prematurely, man? Like that's not what it's always about, though. I think a lot of these uh, little young motherfuckers need to do one or two things. Either they need to talk it out and squash it like men or throw hands. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Take a ride with me real quick. You know what I think. And I, why I feel, especially like where he got killed at, I feel like it feels like Pac and Big all over again to me. You know, go far, but go ahead. no, no, I'm, no, I'm not talking about. I'm, I'm just talking about like with the with with things that's going on right now. Right, we take a existing beef because the only reason why I thought about this is because I saw some video where motherfuckers instantly went to the hood looking King for Lil Durk and King Von. Yeah. So now, now that's like now got me thinking. Like, is they trying to manufacture some shit like this? Because if anybody know, 
King Von and Lil Dirk is in Atlanta. Like that's where they live at now. Like as far as I know, they don't have too much to do with Chicago as a whole because of you know whatever situations and shit. Uh, yeah, and, and and the fact that they went and actually went looking for them two in particular makes me feel like this is somewhat manufactured by some outside powers that's trying to take our attention and you know put it somewhere else like it yeah. just it just feel it just feel weird like i don't oh, feel okay. like this is like no 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 like actual gang shit it's like some you know some some bigger picture uh that distraction shit i don't uh, think he's big enough I don't, I don't think he's big enough i mean not saying that he's big enough is it you just you just taking into account that chicago already got like this big ass murder shit going on right now you already got what was that a weekend where like almost a hundred people got shot or some shit, yeah. uh, and then That's like everybody is paying attention. Like like if whether you know it or not, everybody is paying attention to all these shootings and killings that's going on here right now. Or oh, I ain't gonna sit here because I'm not in Chicago. <clears throat> Let me say something just to be on the same topic. Mm-hmm. They got they got people, you know, promoting shit like <clears throat> if we give you a hundred dollar gift card. If you're turning the gun from from what ten to two, yeah, they're doing that right. Yeah, I'm like them niggas. These little niggas is like a hundred dollars. What the fuck a hundred dollars gonna do for me? No, 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 no. Let me tell you, they traded in. You know why they traded in? Versus getting caught with it. Yeah, they got the bodies on. <laughs> they don't search no motherfucker. They just take the gun and give yeah. you the shit. Right. If you got a body, like, if you're trying to get rid of a gun with bodies on it. That's the easiest way to get rid of it. And you get paid. But I'm, but I'm saying the mindset of the new niggas. No, they still get rid of them. No, they still get rid of This, so you think- them, they going to do that and go get another gun. Yeah. This gets that off their hand. This, whatever murders is off their, uh, whatever murders that, that, that was on that gun, they just got that off their hand. They just got a clean slate. But what's the, what's the difference? See, see the- this ain't no old nigga, new nigga shit. This is a criminal shit. So you don't think if they put, uh, let's say, Two hundred dollar gift card. You don't think more guns will turn up? It don't matter if you got. If they, get 50, if they get fifty dollar gift cards, motherfuckers still gonna get rid of. Cause you got bodies on these motherfuckers. If you dump that shit in the boat and they come up with that gun and they find, they might find some prints on it. They gonna print it. They gonna dust it off. But once you give it to them, they don't search that motherfucker. They just take the gun. So what do they do with the guns when they take? Them? If they if they not gonna use them as criminal cases to get them, they body. log them. They attach them to criminal cases uh, by matching the ballistics. They're attaching the criminal cases. As far as I know, eventually they go through. Uh, I think so. If they're not attached to a criminal case, I think they can eventually go through an auction or some shit. If they are attached, they get that. Mean ain't no bodies on it. That's what I was wondering. I'm like, I, I saw how much guns cost. That's why I was saying it depends. You know I mean, on the street, the gun only costs a couple of hundred bucks. Yeah, like I bought an SK for three hundred and fifty dollars or four hundred dollars. And I bought a 38 super for like 250. We're on the internet, y'all. Calm down with what you worry about. Yeah, I think it's crazy. But yeah, I just I just feel like it's more it's more to it, you know. I mean the way the way the way the case going, it seems like it's more to it. Yeah, like it's more to it. Like it's more it's more powers that be, it's more oh, no, I'm not down in the situation. I'm not down there. The fact that they got a way down there lets me know. Yeah. Cause, cause, yeah. cause, see, cause if you think about it, like, okay, if we look at the, the the drill scene, the Chicago drill scene as a as a whole, right? Where all the most of the murders happen for people in the Chicago drill scene, drill scene, that shit happened in a hood or you know at some random ass house party or some dumb ass shit or some shit like that. This happened in the Gold Coast, dude. Like you 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 can't help but to think like it's something else to this, man. Like. It's the Gold Coast, and you and you, you shot up, motherfucker, and you got the hell up out of there. And, and it just something just don't sit right with me with this whole story, man. Because I don't see nobody going to the Gold Coast to shoot nobody up. That's like that's like going to Rodeo Drive <laughs> and shooting up a motherfucker. Like that shit is crazy. You might have well shot a motherfucker in front of the motherfucking mayor's house. <laughs> and then broad daylight too. <laughs> like that shit is fucking crazy. Like. I don't know, you know, Duck's whole standing in the hood or whatever, because I don't really follow that type of stuff. You know, you know, I'm like on the outskirts looking in, so I don't know too much information and all that type of shit. But to take him out on the Gold Coast speaks volume. It speaks volumes to like 
yeah. who he was, you know, in his community and what he is and what he stood for. And the fact that you hit him outside of his hood, it just raised a lot of questions to me. I don't know about y'all, but that just raised a shitload of questions. It, it seems to me, like I said, some shit about to go down. It's about to be a really hot summer. It's about to be a hot boy summer. Yes, it definitely is. Cause uh, I, I like, like, like I don't know if y'all watched the the Lupe video where somebody um asked him, did he know uh, FBG Duck? And and he was looking like, why you say that in past tense? Like Lupe didn't even know at the time. And when he found out, he was he was like, what? You know, and he. And he was even like shocked that something like that happened on the Gold Coast. Because this shit don't happen on the Gold Coast, see? You hit a motherfucker on the west side, south side, north side, all you want to, except for boys now. You do that shit up there on the, in the Gold Coast? Shit. <laughs> exactly. He might as well shot a motherfucker outside. They might shoot a motherfucker outside at Wrigley Field. <laughs> like, that shit ain't gonna happen. You can shoot a motherfucker outside USA or whatever the fuck the name of that shit is now. You can shoot a motherfucker in front of United Center, Soldier Field. You're not doing that shit in Wrigley. Hell <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And, you know, he was looking and he, like, kind of, like, broke down the whole the drill scene and shit, like, how, you know, most of, most of the, the, the rappers in the drill scene just don't make it because, you know, they be, they be talking the about real, real shit. Good. They be talking about real shit and Making fun of the dead and all that type of shit in they and they music and yeah, that, shit. Yeah, that's what he he was he was doing that shit too, and that shit was out of bounds right there. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was asking. Like when we first started this podcast, I asked y'all and I asked Blind, "Is it safe to say that Chicago rappers are too real?" Because Chicago rappers, they're literally dying before they blowing up over I mean, the lifestyle. But gee, here's the problem, and you know this. We don't have the ability to not say shit. That wasn't the <laughs> question, though. So no, that, I know question the question. Was, but I'm saying, are I'm they saying that, too real? Yes, in their it's, it's in their DNA. What, what what we what we view as what what okay, so what like people everywhere else view as too real. We view it as just regular ass shit. That's regular yeah. time. I think I think. Um... As far as the rap scene here in Chicago go, it's nobody. It's nobody to say, you know, maybe we shouldn't make a track about this, or maybe we shouldn't be talking about this, you know, or maybe we should admit some certain things. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, I don't know how to single, but I, it's just me on the outside looking in. I just feel like it's nobody to be like, or, or just probably just be a hundred motherfucking real niggas. Just around like nigga, put that say what you gotta say. Fuck that shit. That's how we rock around here. So I don't know. So that's where your own discretion come in at. See, that's the problem. Motherfuckers ain't got no discretion. You can't. It's certain shit that you know you can and can't say. Like if motherfucker dead, yo. If, if he dead and you got beef with him, oh okay. If I ain't like you when you live and fuck you when you dead. However, if this motherfucker plug like that, sometimes you gotta fall back. You know what? I, I don't. I don't necessarily feel the way Cam feel, but there are some, 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 some undisputable facts. They will help his reasoning, and, and they might seem stupid, but you know, it's 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 two things that happened that I couldn't wrap my head around. Two things that happened I could not wrap my head around. One thing was the lady was talking about how loud it was. She said it didn't stop. Automatic weapons. One. Two. And cops do patrols over there. Nobody got hurt and only two people was killed. The people they was trying to kill and nothing else was damaged. Maybe a bullet hole through a window. That don't happen. That's movie shit. That don't happen. And they drove away and they got away. See, when Ken say what he say, these are the two things that's been going through my head since it happened. Four people with what was described to be as automatic weapons, never actually proven to be, but was described to be automatic weapons. And they only kill the people they came to kill. Nobody else really got fucked with. Old girl got hit, but, you know, shit happens. If you bring your ass, and if you're from Chicago, you know once you get your ass up there in the Gold Coast, it is cops walking the beat up there. 
It is cops walking, patrolling that shit. It is cops in the cars riding around that motherfucker all day, every day. So for it not to be cops in the vicinity, that's not. Nah, but not on Oak Street. On Oak Street, dude. I mean, you never need. There's never a problem on Oak Street. It's still. You know what I'm saying? The, the the worst the worst they might go through on Oak Street is having somebody removed from one of their stores. But the cops get there quick. If you got to remove, yeah, them, yeah, 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 yeah. That's my point. But it's Oak Street. And the thing is, Oak Street sits right next to Lakeshore Drive. Once you're on Lakeshore Drive, I don't even know if that's the direction they drove because they said they drove west. And then, then that's the time for a car to get away at that time with the way traffic is down there. It's Ain't no traffic body. downtown. Ain't no traffic downtown oh, yeah, right now. The, I forgot about what the, the, the coronavirus shit. I, yeah, I, this I, is I which streets you. more or less clear. The motherfucker's still out from the south side to the west loop, though. <laughs> See, and, and that's the other thing right there is that because of what's going on, it's nowhere near as many people downtown as it would normally be. So it's nowhere near as many police downtown as there would normally be either. And because they're too busy not solving the other crimes. Of course, they have to do their job. 